Hello, this is Mario vs. Shadow, and welcome to the new tutorial for Team Hackers 1. Okay, this tutorial, I will be teaching you all the art of changing your logo graphics. What I mean by that is, um, once I open my ROM here, I'll have to forgive, there'll be a bit of lag. Um, ah, uh, there you go, uh, the Super Mario World graphics, right there that you see. I'm going to be teaching you how to change those, how to draw your own, because it's not as easy as just opening YYCHR. Well, actually it is, but there's one little extra step you have to do, but not a lot of people are aware of, so I'm going to be teaching you that. In fact, first thing you have to do, in fact, is make a save state in ZSNES, which is going to lag for me a bit because I'm recording. So once you've made a save state, and you've quit, and stop lagging. You'll see down here you have a nice Z ZST file. Now this is for the benefit of YYCHR, which you should have. Um, so if you go back um, and open up Lunar Magic now, this is going to take a while because you know the computer is running a lot right now. Just bear with me. I'll... Um. Loads of crap in here. Uh, Lunar Magic, there we go. So if you open up Lunar Magic, once it decides to open, you go here to the open option. I'm sorry, you'll just have to bear with me a little, because my computer's quite slow. And then you go find your ROM. In this case, it's in Tutorials, Teaching. And that should open your ROM there. Now, just like um, when inserted xgfx which is an old tutorial um you'll have to extract your gfx quick extract gfx from rom you'll see down the corner that they're all extracting it's taking its time and there you've um extracted them now what you want to do next go back to your folder edit tutorials and you will see that you have a nice little graphics folder here. So the next thing you want to do is you want to open up YYCHR, which is your GFX editor. Come on. There we go. And what you want to do is, I believe you can drag and drop to open up GFX files now. I might be wrong. I probably am. That's going to be embarrassing. You want to open up GFX, well, I believe it's GFX 29, watch me be wrong here, GFX 29, and you'll see it's all garbled, and you'll see when you put it on 4GBB SNES, it doesn't help it at all. What you want to do, is you want to put it on 2BBGB, and you'll notice the graphics the graphics appear and I've just pressed something I didn't mean to press uh, cancel you didn't see that I didn't happen I didn't I didn't screw up what you're going to do next is press this little button at the top and oh, for God's sake and you want to open up that save state you took earlier. Now you'll notice the palettes are still a bit messed up. What you do is from here you click palette plus palette set and just change that to palette and you click here you'll notice the colors are a little bit better so yeah. Now you can edit these like you would normal GFX. I'm assuming you'll know how to use YYCHR. 
quite low tech, so I'm just going to skip ahead and make a little something, okay? I will be right back. Okay, and I'm back. As you can see, I've made some very simple GFX here. It just says hack. You can see it there. And you save this. You close that. And you close that. Well, you don't need to close that, but I just did anyway. And you insert GFX, quick insert GFX. And they're inserted. Next thing you do is you go to your overworld editor. Um, go to title screen, click load title screen. Yes. And there you'll notice you have a few garbled graphics now. So you just delete that. You can open up uh, the tile overworld tile editor thing, and now it's just a matter of arranging them. If you do this just like you would a normal title, normal title screen graphics. Um, it is a pretty long process if you want to get the graphics good but you know I, I threw these together in literally minutes they're nothing they're nothing decent if you like them then good for you but I not much effort was put into making these graphics I just needed something tutorial base and I couldn't be bothered to make a something earlier. And now I'm probably gonna screw up arranging my own graphics, but whatever. Now one thing that should be noted about this is that drawing title screen graphics like this, it is slightly, slightly more limited than drawing ordinary SMW graphics because, you know, you can't have as many um, colors. The original SMW title screen used a variety of palettes, but I'm only using one palette because, you know, I'm trying to make this quick, I'm trying to make this brief I'm just trying to get the point across here. So and just save that. Then you load your ROM. Then there you go. Your own title graphics with extra lag from my emulator for some obscure reason. Well, with that said, I hope this tutorial was helpful to people. This has been Mario vs. Shadow for Team Hackers 1, and I will see you next time. See you guys.